in the question and answer community project, it's not really a project, it, but it is something you can use. In the communication video, I mentioned that instead of emailing me uh, a question, you can post a question to the Q&A answer community on the discussion board of Canvas. And you can get a total of, well, here it shows 20 points. This can fluctuate depending on the semester and what it, what's listed by your instructor. Generally, you get maybe one point per question asked and 1.5 points per answer given. And so what you would do is inside a canvas, you would go to discussions and you'd go to Q and A. Okay, and then if you had a question, then you would ask your question here and then if someone knew the answer, so you would push subscribe here to subscribe to the Q&A thread. And then uh, if you had a question, you could reply to that thread and ask the question just like Allison did here. And then Kelvin uh, gets back to her about it. And you'll notice that sometimes uh, your fellow classmates might get back to you uh, sooner than otherwise. Here Keegan is sort of letting everyone in class know about what's going on with Yellow Dig and what he thought about it. So it's a community where you can ask questions and you can also uh, you know, give advice or make statements about class to help your fellow classmates. This is something you do throughout the semester. At the end of the semester, I go through and tally up how many questions you asked, how many good responses you gave. I mean, if you give the response of great question, exclamation point, or you like respond after someone else already answered it and you don't say anything new, then you know, you're not gonna get a point for that. Uh, but it's just another way to create community and also get credit for participating in that community.